you can get it right mm -hmm. yeah know, like uh... here here i probably would take the two horses and boost it with otter i think that's a fine play yeah can i put the big attack in front that's probably fine we can roll okay so then at this point do i do i go into mosquito even though I already have two units. Oh yes, you double lock the mosquitoes. Yeah. Okay. The crickets, like, I mean, it's kind of nice. It's kind of a meme. Yeah. The the main thing I don't like about taking horses and crickets is it it you basically have to transition off them at some point, and it's hard mm -hmm. to transition off the two units. Like. Yep. You you often don't have enough gold to like make the transition in like a smooth way. There is definitely a very, it's like pe people don't, they hold on it to too long. They start buffing it and it becomes something that they can't really transition off of. Yeah. So when I go horse cricket, I usually transition turns uh, five and six when tier threes are available. And uh, after after this um, lobby, we'll talk about the turns five and six as we transition okay. to the mid game. Yeah. Draw is fine. Nice. Draw is great. And and if this was uh like a one on one, I probably could have considered locking in the cricket uh from last turn, but yeah. Oh interesting. Um, let's see, you could have gotten two extra attack if you combined the horse and then bought the horse separately. So you, you are correct. Combined the horse from the very small thing, very small detail, uh, and in this positioning, there's almost no chance it um, would make a difference. But I mean, the the, the chance is out, out there. Yeah, no, I mean, we, we should be optimizing every play. There's no reason not to, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Uh, one thing that's uh, dangerous about trying to optimize every play is when it doesn't come so second nature to people. Uh, optimization takes uh, processing power. It takes time to think through. So mm -hmm. for sometimes I just it, for some people who aren't at that uh, level of familiarity with the game, I just don't even mention it to them. I'm like, yeah, just buy the horse. That was you just stack it, right? But right, I right, think right. you're pretty darn good. So and yeah, I mean, a lot of it. Ooh, this oh oh no oh no. <laughs> Did you see that though? Yeah, that was pretty unlucky. That uh the the two attack on the horse actually made it. The one attack that you were missing on the horse actually made a difference right there. From that. Last oh, because it would have killed. Yeah. Yeah. That's excellent. So then here, would you would you triple the or would you level the the mosquito? I would buy uh, stack the mosquito uh, and then buy it, so you get that two two boost. But then, are we waiting till turn five then to actually? Um... Well, let's roll once because we will freeze a pill. Yeah, freeze a pill and then roll once and then decide from there. Mm. I like, I like uh, to only freeze one pill. We might be spending a honey pot, but um. Oh, for the badger. Let's see, because there's very few things that we actually want. Uh, hopefully, we see more more uh, swans. But yeah, I think it's it's okay to combine and just check what what you want to. Uh, combine now. There's actually so many tier threes that you want compared to like tier fours that you want. Oh wow, you, wow, and you can freeze a flamingo at this point. Yep, yep. I, that's not the right order, yeah, but the it's fine. Too. Yep, probably the pill too. And you have an incredible start. Yeah. Yeah, both badger and ox already on turn three. Yeah. Those were those were excellent tier threes that we got. Yep. Uh, we're done with otter or horse. Uh, otter for sure. And then we're killing this, and we want to boost. Actually, the badger maybe. Badger and mosquito. It's it's debatable. Badger, mosquito, or mis uh, or, um, yeah. All right, and then and save this. Yep. And lucky bastard, you gotta do the. Do the spider first, and then turn into a swan. And yeah, if, if it might be selling, if you get something really good, you'll be selling. Oh, oh no. wow! You'll be selling the horse, wouldn't you? Yeah, that was pretty lucky. 
That was really lucky. I'll take another swan. swan. All right, we put that in the back. The that bigger one should go crazy. in front. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's... We're very strong you're, before. You're the strongest in the lobby. Yeah. No way anybody can beat this. Maybe Kyogre, but probably not. You get yeah, that eight, two oxes. The eight on the mosquito is... Or the, the melon on the mosquito is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But you know what's better? <laughs> the, the eight... The, the double melon, yeah. The double melon with six attack. Nice. Bare Draw. Barely tied that. Yep. If you had honey, that's true. We don't really care about um, winning. So. This is probably better than. Well, okay, so we could also stack the ox and then have two swans. Uh, one gold versus. I would actually stack the swans. Because the ox is so strong right now. Because, yep, I've made the mist in arena. I've gr I agreed for, oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, okay, and, wait. Yeah, careful with the stacking. Yeah, I should just level the one in front, right? Yeah. Or, That's and, also very or good. You probably uh, want to lock in that melon thing. Melon? Uh, the, oh, turtle. the turtle? The turtle. But, uh, if... If, uh, so Ox is a very strong unit. It's like everybody knows it's like one of the strongest in the game. But actually, level two Ox is not even that much stronger than a level one Ox. Its primary benefit is that uh, melon that it, it uh, gets. So currently, you have a level two Ox and you have a level one Ox. And I guess the question is are you going to be spending six more gold on the Ox? To get oh, to level three. I see. And the answer is just probably no. And so in that situation, uh, you can think, well, last turn, you, you spent a resource on the ox. Would it have just been better to not buy that, that second ox from the shop and uh, oh. have that space to buy that rooster, for example? Right. Because right now I need the space, and it makes more sense to uh, stack... Yeah. 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 Uh, and I should have done that last turn before rolling. Yeah. Uh, do I want the honey for the badger at this point? Uh, no, you could. Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, I don't honey the badger. That it's it depends. I look at the sh uh people in the lobby, and if they've got honey badgers, I'll put a honey on it. Uh, but I don't actually care that much about. Okay, I don't really care that much about um winning so any resource that helps me it's like yeah get those draws or wins That's i good. think about them equally and then a pill you've got and then and uh the, Actually, what, the snail snail oh the snail yeah you're, you're although unlikely I'm, to lose but yeah i feel like i try to make a guess whether i'm gonna win or lose mm-hmm Although I guess in versus you're always it's it's always a greater chance. And you tie. There is a if I in if I feel like on the last when I have zero gold left and I feel like I have a ten percent chance of losing, I will lock that in. Cow is pretty good, but do I have space for it? I guess at this point, um we can talk about like oh I don't, we don't have enough time to talk about like the the end game yeah and, uh, so at this point I, in general I start thinking about what is my end game and how do I get there and yeah uh, key key units at this point is, is uh, penguin oh really penguin and rooster right now are your because we're on key four units. yeah yes. I mean, I feel like I wish I had one more gold, and then I could pill and buy the cow. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. I should maybe have sold and the mosquito. You're in a very awkward position because the cow is good, the pills yeah. are amazing. I would buy the 
five bit turtle and uh just hold uh, off. Give it to the um the the what's it called? The rooster. Oh yeah. Um, so this is a a very interesting idea is what if you had sold sold the mosquito instead? Yeah, then I would have had enough. Nice. We got lucky there. Yep. You are stronger than most teams still, or equally strong. So I last turn I would have sold the mosquito rather than the swan, because I guess I definitely overvalue the swan. Uh, so, uh, but in this situation, I don't think I'm overvaluing it. I don't think we care about any of these. We're just looking for a rooster and possibly a penguin. And, There's a rooster. And before you stack it, before you stack it. Yeah, um, you're right. We could sell the cow, we could put it here, yes. and then we can get the tier 6. Yeah, yep, that seems exactly. better. On, if you stack on... Oh, wow, that's a penguin. If you stack on turns uh, 7 and 8, the only thing you're really hoping for is a monkey. And how good is a monkey? It's it's pretty darn good. But uh, for that next turn, it's like, since dragon is just so much better than everything else, um, just waiting that, that extra turn to level up, get that dragon potential, super strong. But Batango is asking, are we selling Mosquito next turn? Are we... I think so. Well, we can stack the, the roosters now, so mm -hmm. we have space. I guess if we find a monkey... So, this is... Uh... Now, let, let, I guess we can talk back onto the ops. We, it is the strongest uh, mid mid and mid late game unit in the game. But what about in the very end game? The very end game, it's basically a flat 50-50 unit that will always have a melon. And how strong is that? It's, it's stronger than a flat 50-50 with a melon because it, like, it will always have a melon that, and can't get pinged off. But in the um, grand scheme of thing, a mosquito is actually better than a an, an ox. Yeah, in the late game. Okay, so so my question is, how do I how do I stack this rooster uh, with roll. without? What's that? I would roll once, lock that in. Maybe actually just can and then stack because you've got uh you've got nine gold. You can do something like uh, combine now and then uh, buy uh, two penguins or something. Yeah. And I don't think we keep it the fly. Yeah, definitely not. Oh, but now we're on rooster two, so we should do something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And plus one plus one is honestly super mediocre. Yeah. We're probably looking to get that level two penguin and then get rid of our badger. Yeah. Do you know, do, do you, off the top of your head, do you know the probabilities of like getting uh, units on each turn? Oh, I don't know off the top of my head. I, I made a spreadsheet because it's equal chance of any animal, right? Any pet yeah. that's available. Yeah. Yep. And and then I calculated for if you freeze one, uh, how does that impact you? Yes. Yes. There's a. I have a pretty good um, rule of thumb. If you if you have like tw ten percent chance to see a unit and you freeze one unit in the shop. You now have uh, like so if it's you're taking up four, you have five slots. You lock up one. Now you have four. You just kind of take four fifths of that probability. It's it's mm -hmm. a general rule of thumb. It saves you a lot of uh, memorization. But um, so I'm selling badger for monkey, but I don't know what to buff in front. Okay, what about the? I think a rooster is a pretty natural thing to. Buff. Okay, even though it's not going to get the the double proc. Yeah, because okay. you have 14 health, you can afford... Oh. oh, wow. Okay, so... Oh, no. Okay, hold on. I was going to say, do yeah, the do penguin. I, uh, I was oh. going to say, do the penguin, and then see what happens. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay, so now pause, and we'll talk about this play after the game. So, um, very... A, very... We all know how strong Dragon is, right? And so if you had leveled up the penguin with one chocolate still in hand yeah you basically could have had a 
chocolate and a one dragon. You almost have a level two dragon. Yeah, early. Yeah. Also cat. Nice. She got you. She's good. She she mentioned uh that she's played like over five hundred hours or something at this point. Yep. So the uh, we'll talk about this turn that this turn ten uh in the postmortem. It's a it was a very, very uh like so now you have a level two yeah. penguin and a monkey. So you actually do no longer need the dragon because uh, those two scaling units together is is the alternative to um, dragon level two dragon and and now he's got the monkey. Yep. Don't care about that. Chocolate. And then and here. Which... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. And you've got a dragon. You could. There's always time to change. That's the thing. Ooh, it's but like, yeah, I don't, it's I don't know where to spend. Maybe just start off with pizza. Too okay, so at this, time. at this point, I feel like it's reasonable. Yeah, I don't know. I like a uh, level three penguin more than level three uh, monkey, but it's definitely debatable. It's like, how do we? We have a dragon in the shop. Do we like? Fr oh. Nice. You got her this time. Yeah. You have a lot more scaling than her. Yeah, the level two monkey and, is huge. Uh, on this turn, it's. I don't know if you have enough time, but go ahead and check out everybody else's team. Look at look at who has the uh, like level two dragons or getting close to it, and that way you can think about uh, when I do this, I can then think about what I need to have on my team to get first place. So I don't see any dragons currently. Yeah. I'm looking for I'm looking at all the penguins, all the monkeys, and the T Rexes, and the roosters. And yeah. re when I I just try to absorb all that at once to see uh, how much I need to gear my t team towards that transition. And uh, since I don't actually see another level two dragon, um, or even even a level one point five, you don't. I don't think you actually need to uh, transition off of the um, dragon to get first place. Uh, and it's up. It's up to you. Which wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and you can wow, that was amazing. That, uh, nah, you don't freeze in that mosquito. Yeah. And ordering wise, I think you now switch the monkey to the third position. Oh, because he's slightly bigger, yeah. Yep. And then we'll soon move the rooster back. Yep. And the t the timing for when I switch that rooster back is dependent on how much life I have and how mm. strong everybody else is in that lobby. Right. Uh, if you have life to cost... spare, you can keep the rooster in front. Yeah. And so, actually, if, uh, the cost of losing that uh, one chick is not that high. People think it's, oh, no, you lose out on value. But it's only one sixteen one. How strong is it? I mean, it's definitely strong, but it's not like the game ending. It's not like the end of the world. Oftentimes, it doesn't make the difference between a win and a loss. Chocolate would be amazing and here. You're basically hoping for either uh, just to level up that. And Do I want the melon, melon here? I don't, I don't think that... I mean, it is the... a lot of stats. You can freeze it and then roll once. That's I would true. do that. Greatly reduce your chances of seeing a chocolate, but um, uh, melons are something that you want to prepare for. Uh, like they don't show up that often, so you naturally want to pick up one or two along the way. I guess the option is here. We can either roll a bunch, or we can go ahead and buy. It's pretty reliable next turn if to see. To get to get a penguin or a monkey to or a level uh, three, so I, I would just buy now. Yeah, you incre you you uh, increase that reliability if you spend three turns rolling, but um, yeah. And after this turn, actually this turn, last turn maybe, you could have considered putting the rooster away from that first position. Hmm. Yeah, I think since we have since we're in the lead with hearts, we can we can greet a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we're um, winning. Yeah, you're you're winning this lobby. 
So what the penguin? I like penguin more, actually. Yeah, because uh, the monkey is just hard. Yeah. Because like it, we're not gonna love putting ox in front, and yeah. We're gonna put the monkey in front. Yeah, for now. Because it because we because we took the melon, and at this point, I guess we're still looking for more chocolate or a monkey. A monkey and, and it... chocolate. Oh, wow. <laughs> this one. Exactly what you needed. Uh, the ox I feel like is not worth it, but I would take a mosquito okay. at this point. Yep, I would start buying mosquitoes, roosters. And a melon, that's... Yeah, because once the monkey is big enough, we'll move like the mosquito in front or something. Yep. And I guess the chocolate's gonna go on the rooster. Yep, that is correct. Now, the great thing about penguin monkey scaling is that when everything is starting to get close to done scaling, you can sell that penguin and then have an, uh, that fifth unit be something that's relevant stat-wise hmm. with a monkey buffing it plus nine, plus nine immediately. Right, right, right. So it makes uh, compelling like leopards or uh, mm -hmm. uh, maybe gorilla or something, yeah. Kyogre. Yeah, it's still very strong. That yep. that was that was pretty close. Okay. Your lead is probably gonna increase over time. Uh quickly glancing at other people's teams. They they weren't really catching up anytime soon. Like Kyogre only has a level one uh monkey for scaling. Yeah. It's so counting a lot on that leopard. Level two dragon. Yeah, even it, Glitchy seems better positioned, actually, than Kyogre. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Oh, I could have maybe have bought the Mosquito. It's, uh, at this point, so sometimes you just have to, like, relax. You're uh, at 11 health, you have no scaling. It, sometimes this is when I would, uh, you know, sell... Maybe a mosquito just for fun, and then replace it with like a gorilla, and, and scale it. Yeah, because yeah, you have time yeah, to scale it. Day. Yeah, as in it's not the optimal play, but uh, you know you got to style on people sometimes. All right, he has. Only a couple of deaths left in you, just, you know, tiny bit less. Nah, he's so far behind. You're actually increasing your lead on him, too. Alright. So, uh, around four, maybe it was four turns ago, I mentioned how, um, we were talking about how you want to scale that rooster. Um, yeah. And uh, there was one turn where I said, actually, uh, I mean, we have a lot of lives, but we actually want to move the rooster back a bit because it's, and this is, this is the reason why uh, it's already, it's already at 50, 50. If you had moved it back uh, on that turn 12, it's, um, it would have naturally hit 50, 50 anyway. Right, right, right. We, yeah, we should have thought like how many turns do we have left and we're going to yeah. get plus two or plus and, three but of course it's, yeah. it's very very hard to think through that um and talk through that in that short amount of time but uh yeah so having front rooster is the not greedy play um for trying to stay alive it's the greedy play when you're trying to stay alive but then uh this is a situation where it's being overscaled so if we saw super far in the future, we would be like, uh, we should have moved it back one turn earlier. Yeah, and, and good while we were talking about that, the Tangle mentioned Mosquito should go in front because Monkey is in the same situation now. Uh, yeah. Although, we're gonna... It's, it's gonna go soon. Uh, the Penguin is actually gonna go fairly... Oh, well, you're just gl yeah. blowing everybody else out of the water. So... Do I even care about this chocolate? I, I guess another, on the mosquito. I would, I would do it on the mosquito. Yeah. I don't care about ox at all, though.
And that's a, uh, that's a leopard, by the way. Ooh. Oh yeah, we could have saved the leopard to replace with the penguin. Although, yep. it it it's doesn't really... La last this long, game's, but... yeah. yeah. This game's over in like two rounds. Yep. Not even close. Yeah. Tony Pro, as Teos would say. <laughs> we got we got some very lucky uh, uh, level uh, pets and uh, rolls. The penguins and the monkeys. Yes. Yeah. And even earlier with the double ox. Wow, Cinco Chips is pretty darn strong, but not as strong as you. If you're actually quite a bit ahead looking at how much you won by. So yeah, you oh. got the early ox, you got the early badger. The badger, there was, that was just overkill, but um, the badger actually t helped you draw some, so maybe it wasn't overkill. So not surprising that the, the, the DLC is, is the one making it to the end, that T-Rex scaling uh, all of them? Not, not a big threat, to be honest. I you think, don't think they're much stronger. I feel like, you know, with a level 3 skunk... And the leopard? Um, Maybe. It's going to be... Yeah, it's actually going to now do... Yeah. I think you'll I think you'll be fine. So should I swap in the tiger for the penguin? And what... what um, I would say definitely no. Uh, uh, tiger is not the unit because the they have a leopard. Mm, mm, mm. A fly, however, could be a, the unit that you do. But you don't swap this turn. You you have six gold, and so you and you just start like freezing and stuff in eight seconds. So you kind of just and then, yeah. I don't know what I'm looking for though. Oh, that's a mushroom. Yeah, that would have been nice on the penguin. Yep. Oh, I could have moved the mosquito. Apple the mosquito. I see, I see. Oh, yeah. And you win. <laughs> With a lot of hearts. Yeah. So, high rolling, while well, you say you got lucky, higher, um, you've made a lot of great plays. You getting lucky was the difference of you having, let's just say, 5 health versus 11 health. Um, you didn't need that much luck to actually win the lobby. There was no way... To, I'm, I'm reading chat. <laughs> there was no way to, for him to lose that... There was there was a way, but okay. So let's. But uh, now now we're in post mortem, right? Um, there was a very very critical turn, on turn ten, you had uh, two chocolates, and a dragon, or you had two chocolates, uh, and I would have leveled up the penguin for that just because of that dragon, and uh, seeing that dragon would have allowed you to do a really quick rotation into a um, level two dragon cycling team so uh usually that's like the play but looking at your team you already had level two penguin and almost level two um monkey so you didn't actually need to make that transition 